Hello everyone and welcome back to Gone Home. This time we are continuing exactly where we left off. We had just started snooping through Sam's room. As the good older sibling does. Yes. And as I read on the uh, bulletin board just outside of Sam's room, I'm the awful older sister who leaves every damn light in the house on. You can see it in the last video. What's an electric bill, right? Shit talking parents, they deserve it. So, uh, yeah, let's get back on in here. <laughs> hey, Ronnie. Ronnie. <laughs> hey, Ronnie. I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. Oh, God. I don't know. Chun Li moves. Hush. Oh, <laughs> what if that's actually right? Super Spitfire. <laughs> Journey of Crystal. Such a game selection. Adventurous the cat returns. This <laughs> you got your number. Sounds kind of menacing. Disciplinary. Stuff to throw. What? This would be easily bit whoa. Oh wait. Ah Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She left it. She Did said, she? I need to fix these oh, roots. Yeah. Think you could help. Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. <laughs> it's pretty whoa. intimate, right? Whoa. It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. You gotta jump on that. You can't you gotta just get sit it, girl. And wait. You can't let it. You gotta risk it to get the biscuit. Yeah. Secrets don't make friends or girlfriends or boyfriends, whatever. Dad are so lucky I can't throw their clothes. <laughs> ah! Found Dad's underwear. <laughs> 
who who has two sinks and no mirror? Huh? How are you supposed to see when like you know you're messing up your shave or something? Like after the honeymoon. Rediscover your spouse personal personally, spiritually, and sexually. Mm -hmm. If someone's having some marital issues, their daughter's having some identity issues. The whole family's gone to hell. Everything here. Yeah. Oh. oh that's a bookmark. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Dude, how do you keep, like, getting stuff to land so perfectly? You don't need this, Mom. <laughs> See, this is getting... This is starting to seem leerier and leerier. What do you mean? And I see an awful lot of ghost stuff. Katie, Mom and Dad are going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer. But you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore, Sam. Another ghost. Right? Well, see, it was talking about hearing a faint voice and stuff. And there's lights around the attic. Ah, cassette. Heavens yeah. to Betsy. Nothing can stop me. Oh, the yeah. misfits. <laughs> They're awesome. See you there. Uh -huh. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad's situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Oh. <laughs> One of mom's dirty books. Freaking lumberjacks. What about this, uh. Do not enter if red lights are on. Let's go check out that, uh, secret passage. Secret House Investigation Log. Three Eight hidden compartments found. Three. Ooh. Evidence of the supernatural discovered zero. Oh, that's that's not creepy at all. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I just 
stuff goes everywhere. Where were those? The Misfits. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. Aww. I just nodded my head, and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook-up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. <laughs> Private, do not read. Heaven at the edge of the world. <laughs> it's too long. I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> okay. We won't read it. Wait, okay, where was that? One? So we got this one and this one. And there was another one, right? How about uh, there's one upstairs? Maybe. Maybe. Wanted you to go downstairs. No, get the back here. Where is it? Where is the passage? I must find the passage. Oh wait. <gasps> oh, a Ouija board. Ah. You see? See? My suspicions are starting to starting to add up. Zero, zero five zero one. Five, zero one. Bam. <gasps> Damn kids. Lonnie came over today, but everything was different. <laughs> she was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no, there was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie. I think I remember. Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me.